science was a subject. The textbook which we are discussing is geography, and the chapter is India science education. Most important content of this chapter is, which is not been explained to the teachers, is how to find GMP, green, which mean time five and a half hour plus. That means India is in the east direction to the zero degree mean. It is to the east direction. So whatever the time we are going to calculate is to be added to the zero degree. Is that clear? So let us find how we can find out five and a half hour GMP degree which mean time. Very interesting topic. Be continuous with content without any haste. So before finding out this. Five and a half hour GMP. You need to find out eighty-two and a half degree east. This Indian Standard Meridian. So you need to find out this Indian Standard Meridian. So once again, I will tell you how to find out this Indian Standard Meridian. To find out any country's Standard Meridian, you need to know about what longitude. So longitude of India is what. 68 degree 07 dash east 97 degree 25 dash east we add it adding 165 dash 32 dash after adding this value you need to divide it by 2 and now finally we got that 82.66 so in a one word we can say that we have to take out the mean value of longitude of any country so after taking out the mean value for any country what you do that is that Now we have to find out how to calculate the Greenwich Mean Time of any country. How to calculate Greenwich Mean Time of any country? So let us take the standard meridian over here. So before finding out the standard meridian, one more thing you need to know about that: 24 hours is equal to 360 degree. That is clear. One complete rotation is equal to 360 degree for 24 hours. No one hour. Is equal to 360 upon 24. That is 60 upon 4, and is to 15 degree. So one hour is equal to 15 degree. Now once again, 15 degree is equal to one hour, or can be 60 minute. So one degree is equal to 60 upon 15. That is four minute. Is that clear? How to find the value or time for one degree value? So now we have the total how much value for degree is that eighty two and a half. So what is the standard meridian of India is eighty two and a half. So now what you have to do that is you have to multiply it with if the total degree is this much, you need to multiply it with four. After multiplying four. We got the value is three sixty point six four. Is that clear? So what is this one? Three sixty point six four. This is a total minute. So we need to calculate it in hour. So we need to divide this value by sixty. And finally, we got is that five and fifty one. So fifty one we can take is that five hour thirty. So it is in the east direction. We need to plus it. So let us once again summarize it. 24 hours equal to 360 degree, one hour 15 degree, 15 degree, one hour and 60 minute, one degree is equal to four minute. So if one degree movement took place, what is the total time difference between that? 24 hours is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 degree, one hour and 15 minute. So one hour is equal to 15 Thirty or half an hour. So finally, I hope you all have understand this confusing topic. Lot of videos are being made in the YouTube channel, and they are not able to clearly clarify how to make this process clear. So from my side, I have done hundred percent effort and filter each and every path and derivation process to make it easier for you all. And I hope you have understand this one, and you have understand in such a way that you can explain out. Remove the dilemma of another fellow or another student or your colleagues. And I one request from my side is that just to share and subscribe this video to as people as many as possible.